Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. And we've got big powder in store for Christmas across a large swath of the West. I think the key time frame from California through Idaho and Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, Montana is the 23rd through about the 27th. I think that's when we're going to see two or three different storm systems move in. The first storm I'm watching right now, this is Mount Bachelor up in Oregon. What is gonna happen is it's gonna sink south and start to create a, a trough of low pressure, a big trough or drop in pressures off the west coast of California. In fact, let me just show it to you on the satellite view across the west. So the first low coming south, that's the one that will establish this uh, this dip in the in the jet stream. And then the other lows will come up over the top and then sink down into this trough and everything will just kind of rotate in this trough and then nail California. All this energy will then get sent into California and we're going to see a weak to moderate atmospheric river set up for California and then a lot of that precip will then get blown into the interior Rockies of Utah, of Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, and Colorado. So this is a great storm track for the West all the way through Christmas. Let me just show you what this is going to look like, um, the future radar. This is the, uh, the GFS American model interpretation. Let me take you into Tuesday morning. Not much happening across the West. It's all sitting off the West Coast of California getting organized, and here it comes. By the time we get into Wednesday morning, snow moving into the Pacific Northwest, into California, into Idaho, and by the time we get into Thursday morning, look at it. That blow-off hits uh, the rest of Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado. Heavy snow into the Sierra. Again, that key time frame, 23rd through about the 27th. Let me take you into Friday morning. Look at that snow through Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, Idaho, Montana. The next low hitting the Pacific Northwest, and that's bound uh, for California as well. Let me take you into Saturday morning. So this is Christmas morning right here. Um, some leftover snow into the interior Rockies. You've got snow right there across California with the next storm, and it's going to be heavy. Let me take you into the 26th. Snow for the interior Rockies, snow along the west coast, and this would continue into the 27th. Look at the next low hitting California. That's why this pattern is going to be so conducive. Okay, let's do snow totals, and I'm going to do them in two time frames. The t today through the 22nd. Notice where all the snow is. It's not in Utah, it's not in Wyoming, not in Colorado. It's all building, it's all in the Pacific Northwest in California. That's phase one, and good snow up in the parts of BC and uh, Western Alberta. Here's phase two. This is where all the magic happens here, the 23rd through the 26th, and there'll be snow on the 27th as well, but um, if the river sets up for California, 40 to 70 inches. Pacific Northwest, one to two, maybe three feet in places. But let's focus on Utah. Um, there is definitely indications that we could be looking at two feet or more in the Wasatch uh, between the 23rd and the 26th. I went on the high side um, for the Wasatch. We'll see what happens. One to two feet for the Tetons, looking very good. Look at Sun Valley. This could be a great stretch for Christmas skiing. Schweitzer, a couple of feet, outstanding. In Colorado, I like the western slope ski areas. Um, the numbers have really been bouncing around the last couple of days, but one to two feet for the western slope ski areas. I like that. Snowmass, Crested Butte, Silverton, Telluride, Purgatory, Wolf Creek. Wolf Creek is probably going to get the most. Um, I'm thinking probably 8 to 14 from Vail up to Summit County up towards the tunnel. That area has definitely bounced around the last couple of days in the data. Uh, Steamboat to Cameron Pass a little bit more probably one to two feet in that area, but it's looking good. I like this pattern through Christmas. Here's my snow plume, a little bonus material here for Crested Butte. Most of the snow comes 23, 24, 25, a little bit left over 26, 27. So it's going to be good skiing at Crested Butte for Christmas uh, the way it looks right now. So that's it. Um, I love the pattern through Christmas. Uh, definitely excited for this powder for a lot of places. I'll keep things updated here. Always appreciate you guys tuning in. Take care.